Hello and welcome to FreeZone Video Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to set up your email account on Mozilla Thunderbird. First, you'll need to open up Mozilla Thunderbird so you can see the screen as shown in front of you. Then, you'll need to go to Tools located at the top and down to Account Settings. This will open up a new window. In the new window, you should see a list on the left hand side of all the email accounts already created. At the bottom of this list, you should see a button saying Account Actions. Please click on this and go down to Add Mail Account. If you click on this, it will open up a new window. You should now see three text box in front of you. In the top one, next to your name, can you please type in the name you want to see displayed when you send someone an email. The second box is email address. Please enter in the created email address in here. In the third box is password. Please enter in your email address password and make sure remember password box is ticked. Once this is done, click continue at the bottom. It will now try and find the settings automatically for your email account. Don't worry if it doesn't, click manual config anyway. You will now be able to edit the settings for your account. Next to incoming, please choose the protocol you want to use. Pop free accounts are good if you have a limited disk space because it takes the emails off the server and downloads it to your client, meaning you won't have to store much on the server. IMAP accounts are better if you require emails to be stored on the server and want access from multiple devices. IMAP also allows synchronization. Once you have chosen your protocol, make sure you put in the server name next to it. The server name will be mail dot and then your domain name. So that's M A I L dot and then your domain name. In the port number box, put 143 for IMAP accounts and 110 for POP3 accounts. In the next box, in the SSL, please put start TLS. Authentication should also be normal password. Now you'll need to enter a name for the outgoing mail server. Just like the incoming, can you please enter mail dot domain name. That's M A I L dot then a domain name. Please enter the port number as 587. SSL again should be start TLS and authentication again will be normal password. Please enter this into the remaining three boxes. You may see that the username below already has data inside it. Please delete this and put in your email account as the username. Once complete, please click the done button at the bottom right. If you have any details wrong, it will now prompt you for these. If all of the details are correct, it will allow you to go through to the next screen, which may actually prompt you for a security certificate exception. The security certificate just verifies that FreeZone servers are authorised. To confirm that we have all the correct settings, we're now going to test the email account. To do this, we're going to send an email to our own email account, which will test incoming and outgoing at the same time. When clicking send, it may again prompt you for a security exception. Please confirm this exception, because now it will allow you to send and receive emails through the FreeZone servers. You will again have to try and send a new email, but this time it won't ask for any security certificates and you will be able to send automatically. The security exceptions won't come up again and you should receive your email in your inbox in seconds. The email account will now be ready to use and you can use these settings to set up any free zone email account. 